While this week won't feature any blockbuster new releases, we do have a few lower key titles that you should have your eye on. Let's go over the top 5 game releases of the week. Number 5, Hollow Ball. Hollow Ball is a VR game and it's a futuristic take on racquetball set in a Tron-inspired universe. You smash and slice a ball to score while defending your own net. The harder you hit the ball, the faster it goes. The game is already released on PC and has very positive reviews on Steam, so hopefully it turns out as a nice little game for PSVR owners. Number 4, Dragon Ball Fusions. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 won't be the only Dragon Ball game releasing this year. Dragon Ball Fusions is coming to the 3DS and it's an RPG that combines fighting, customization, and collection elements to offer a more complete Dragon Ball experience on a portable platform. Visually, the game looks very good and hopefully it turns out to be something good when it releases on November 22nd. Number 3, Batman The Telltale Series Episode 4, Guardian of Gotham. Telltale has become one of the premier developers for story-driven games and Batman The Telltale Series is one of their latest creations. I don't want to give away any spoilers since these games are so story driven, but for those that haven't played it yet, you should just go in blind. Just know that the Batman Telltale series has been very good, especially if you're a fan of Batman, but even if you've just been a fan of previous Telltale games, it's worth playing. Episode 4 releases on November 22nd. Who are you? Welcome to Arkham Asylum! <laughs> During Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. She was playing me the entire time. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe. Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Let's take a ride, gentlemen. to stop this now. I'm finally starting to understand just how sick Gotham really is. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city and there isn't anyone who can stop us, not even you! Now, this is good television! The fire. We are just here to Number 2, Darksiders War Mastered Edition. Darksiders was one of the under the radar gems of last generation. Men considered it to be a cross between Zelda and God of War, but don't get too excited. Darksiders definitely isn't as good as those games, but it's still a pretty good game. The gameplay is solid, the level design is fairly good, and the story will keep you engaged. The War Master Edition will feature native 1080p rendering, improved graphics, and 60 frames per second, so nothing out of the norm for a remaster. Best of all, it comes to the market at only $20, so at this price, it's definitely worth it. Darksiders is the War Mastered Edition releases on November 22nd. Number 1, The Amnesia Collection. Amnesia was one of the most iconic horror games ever released. The same goes for its sequel, A Machine for Pigs. Originally, they saw a release on PC, but now both games are coming to the PS4 in the form of The Amnesia Collection. This collection will include both games as well as the first game's DLC, all for $30, and PlayStation Plus members will receive a 10% discount on launch. For fans of horror games, Amnesia is a must-play, and developers' frictional games have released a pretty good game on the PS4 already, and Soma, so if you haven't checked that out, definitely do so. The Amnesia Collection releases on November 22nd. Oh god, what the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh, don't come over here. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I am so scared. <laughs> go away, go away, go away.
So that wraps up the top five game releases of the week. What do you think? Are you picking up any of these games? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Thank you.